reporter is very respectable, right, despite facing tough comms, as you say, on gaming, advertising, and fintech did outperform, and management remained pretty comfortable about financial regulation, also antitrust review. What's maybe bring the stock down is management's intention, which they say on the call. They want to invest in new opportunities, Emily, to support the next growth phase. And they're looking to step up investments in global game titles, in cloud, and short video. And we think these investments are very strategic that will enable Tencent to diversify its revenue base to enterprise services and international markets. So given the intention to invest, they are committing to invest a portion of incremental profits in FY21 as a starting point. So margins for this year are likely to come down as a result. Okay, so some pressure on the margins. Uh, can you revisit uh, your price target for ten cent shares? Uh, I mean, we've come a long way down, about two hundred billion dollars wiped out since it hit an all-time record high of seven hundred sixty-six in a January of this year. Where would you put the stock? Right, uh, we have not published uh, post the quarter yet. Uh, our prior uh, to the quarter uh, target price is seven hundred and ten uh, Hong Kong dollars. And that's based on 16 times FY23 EBITDA. But granted, although we have a neutral rating, the reason we have a neutral rating on the stock is Tencent right now is trading at premium, pretty meaningful premiums as peers. For example, the stock's trading about 14 times FY23 EBITDA. If you look at some of the large cap peers, for example, Alibaba, only at 10 times. So as a result, uh, we have a neutral rating on the stock. 